Hey everyone, John here for Big Guy Review. In this video, we're featuring the Oxbeam X Series light bar. Now, what makes this light bar different is the fact that you can customize it to your needs. Want a spotlight? No problem, don't put any lenses. You want a floodlight? Put those diffusers on. You want an amber light? Put the amber lenses on. You want half amber, half white, top amber, top white? The choices are yours. Customize it to the way that works best for you. There are other colors of lenses available such as green, blue, and red. I chose to go with the amber. Now I should have probably chose the diffused amber. They would have worked much better. Now the light itself in the box comes with two sets of clear diffusers that will allow you to change two of the portioned areas to floodlights. You'll have to buy different lenses separately. I recommend a pair of clear diffusers to completely cover the clear parts of the light that you'll be missing that will you know, add to the two that you already have. So in all, you have to buy four sets of these diffusers to completely cover the light. Um, also, while you're there, I would recommend you getting amber, but not the clear ones that you see here in this video. Get the amber diffused ones. It's ones that look like they have little bumps in the, uh, the lenses. Uh, what that does, is instead of having your spot, you get round spot, which is a little weird because it's such a long light bar and you end up with this like round spot, uh, the diffusers actually help flatten that out and elongate it to the left and right, almost giving you like this flat beam of light. And it, I think it would really, really look good. And also don't forget that the amber is great for bad weather, like snow, rain, and of course let's not forget fog. Here's a quick sample of the lights at night. First, this is a, the light bar with no lenses, so you can see what I mean by this spotlight. It's a little bizarre. In this clip, I've installed the diffusers at both ends. Uh, they didn't make much difference. The center spot seemed to outpower the floodlight. Finally, the amber lenses. Now, these were, like I said, just the flat amber clear lenses, you know, and uh, I, like I said, would have gone with the diffused ones. I think they would have made a big difference. Uh, I have to put them on my shopping list and I'll get them next time. Last but not least are the DRLs. Now they're not super bright and they're not meant to be. They're daytime running lights. And these are positioned at each side of each section of the light bar. So in total you have like eight LED DRL lights. Now you can wire these up to a fuse so that when you start your vehicle, the lights will come on. When you turn off your vehicle, the lights will go off. Um, there's also a wiring harness available from Oxbeam that will make wiring this up so easy and so simple. Uh, and it comes with everything included. The two relays, fuses, wires, and even a double switch that you can mount on your dash somewhere. Um, the LEDs are one red and one green, so you, at a glance you can tell what's on, what's working, what's not on. Really, really easy to hook up. Well, that's it everyone. I'll leave you links down below in the description, so go and check it out for yourself. And while you're there, see what else Oxbeam offers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.